Dear Mother, I hope you are keeping well and not worrying too much about me. You mustn't think that any of us are going to be killed, for they are collecting such a force here that an attack would be insane. The Massachusetts men passed through here this morning. How grand it is to meet the men from all the states, east and west, down here ready to fight for their country, as the old fellows did in the revolution. But this time, we must make it a whole country, for all who live here, so that all can speak. Before this war began, many of my regiment had never seen a Negro. But now the roads are choked with the dispossessed. We fight for men and women whose poetry is not yet written, but which will presently be as enviable and as renowned as any. Last night, we heard of yet another defeat, but we are not disheartened. I am honored to be part of such a splendid company. They have made me captain, of which I am enormously proud. You would think it strange to see me giving orders to a hundred men, most of whom are older than I am. Thank you for sending my volume of Emerson. His words come home to me like truth. A deep man, he says, believes that the evil eye can wither, that the heart's blessing can heal, and that love can overcome all odds. My dearest love to father, your son, Robert. Right there, Cam.
a connect, right, Captain? Well, the surgeons are all busy, but I'll fix you. Right enough. Let me know if I hurt you. Ah, uh, it's nothing. You're the latest. What's that? Well, I had it from a friend who's a dispatch writer, who got it from a friend of his who's one of Stanton's clerks in the war office. He says Lincoln's gonna issue an emancipation proclamation. He's gonna free the slaves. What? Well, maybe not the ones in the border states or something. I don't know, but he's gonna free some of them anyway. My God. Yeah. He said he would have done it sooner, only he was waiting on a big victory. Which is, I guess, what this is. Oh, my God! Captain, I'm sorry. 